Hey YouTube, it's me once again. We're going to be getting ready to do an unboxing video. Um, I've got two items that we're going to unbox today, so this is an unboxing video for today. Um, and this is what we're going to be opening. We got both these items in the mail today. We got the 1000 watt grid tie inverter, and we got the uh, four digit digital read LED tachometer RPM speed meter with the hall sensor proximity sensor. Alright, so we're going to be doing review on this one which will be in this video and we will also be doing a review on the 1000 watt grid tie which that's not technically a review but at least we're going to open it up and we're going to show you what we got alright so the first item we're going to be opening up today is going to be this one and here we go alright we're going to walk over to the packages and we're going to get those opened up but now we got to find something to open them up with uh, I did have a little blade here all right, here we go. Here's a blade. All right, let's go over and get these packages open. All right, all right. Here we are, guys. I've got this camera. Now we're getting ready to turn that one on, and you'll be seeing me opening it up. I'll be back here shortly. All right, YouTube. Here we are. All right. Uh, we got the first box. This is that digital tachometer. That's what we're going to be using on the turbine upstairs. Alright, we'll get this opened up. Alright, we'll see how she's got her pack. Alright, we've got a bunch of paper. Let's lower you down here so you can see a little bit better. Alright, there you guys go. You don't need to see me. We're wanting to see the yeah, we want to see what we've got. Alright, let's paper. That's fine. Oh, wait, I'm wrong. I am wrong. I do apologize. This, this is my in speed anemometer. Alright, I thought it was a tachometer. Sorry, guys. Sorry. You don't get to see the tachometer today. You get to see the in speed. Alright, we got that in today. Alright, <laughs> woo. This is a video of its own. This is its own unboxing video all by itself. All right, we thought we had the grid tie, and well, we do have the grid tie, and we thought we had the uh, tachometer, but no, guys, we did get my end speed in today. All right, here's the, uh... wow, pretty nice. I got this with 200 feet of cable. There's probably more in that box. We'll get this opened up here. The reason why I got 200 foot of cable it's because sooner or later this is going to be up on my uh, on a tire that's going to be 60 foot and this probably be about another 60 foot out from the shed so I definitely want to make sure I had plenty of cable to get to where I want to go okay guys this might be all all together alright and here's the cups alright that's what's going to go outside make you a mounting bracket for it and you set it outside I'll be setting this near the turbine outside got plenty of cable like I said I got plenty of cable alright 200 feet worth it is a ton of cable don't want to mess this up not at all let's see what the end of the cable looks like on here uh, it's just got the two wires I mean if you ever think about this I mean I probably could have just ordered my own just got my own wire and wired it up but all this is is a small generator really it's a small little alternator in there it's got a little motor in there and the faster it goes the more output it shows okay I'll get some custom plugs for this to put on here got all the instructions and all this is really is a spinometer for like a bicycle and that's technically what it looks like I mean but hey it's okay I've got the little meter we'll have that hooked up we'll have it up or by everything by the meters you guys will see this on the camera all the time all the time not some of the time but all the time Cool, even got a little piece of Velcro on the back of it so I can put me a piece of Velcro up by my wind turbines, by my meters. 
that is going to be nice and we'll even let you guys watch me install this okay because I'm going to have to get me a piece of piping to mount this on the turbine pole outside so we'll get all that whenever that time comes and we'll get this put up we will have this up this weekend that is nice I like it alright a little meter comes off and on not bad at all guys not bad at all alright and this is all the instructions that comes with it let's see what else we got here oops ha the other piece of the velcro I just dumped out of there it's uh, a good thing I paid attention uh. alright this is the velcro that it would stick to we'll go ahead and stick it on the back here so it don't get lost There we go. That way we don't lose that piece of Velcro. Don't want to lose it. Hmm. And all the information, technical data. Not bad. Tells you all the different mode functions. When you hit the mode button. Even gives you a setup if you need to set it up for anything for a kilometer or a mile per hour. Okay, that's that. We'll keep this all together. So that's my end speed, guys. Uh, it's got more information, and that's just for programming the uh, little meter here. Okay, we'll keep that all together. Might stick it just right with my other anemometer where you can see the wind speed that's on the anemometer and this wind speed. Then you can see exactly what direction my wind's coming from. So we'll get this all set up so you guys can see everything that I see. Alright, we're going to put all this back in the box because we don't want to lose it, damage it. So. speed anemometer wow I did not expect to get that today that was some quick shipping All right. and I'll list the website where I ordered that from that way if you want to order one for your wind turbine needs you better order one as well all right well all right YouTube uh, in this video you see in one of the unboxings I did make a bit of a mistake I thought I was gonna get a uh, one of my other meters in but instead I got my uh, in speed meter in this is the website I have it linked right here in the video in my description down here okay and you'll be able to go to this website and order the same item that I've ordered uh, they got other things on here I'm thinking about looking at they've got a dog wind data logging stuff they got a little bit of everything in here for wind uh, they also have um, this is what I've been looking at also let you turn things on or off off or on based on the wind speed so this would be a pretty nifty little item to mess with because um, if I want to I could use my wind speeds to do dump loads um, I mean do different things with the braking systems things like that so we might order one of those and take a look at it and see what we can do with it there's other things on here this website has the data logging I might look at that uh, but yep, that's where you'll see the unbox keep those little plastic bag You really don't know what I need it for but we'll keep it anyhow. All right second part of this video uh, Yes, we thought we was gonna have the uh, RPM gauge, but that's okay <laughs> I'm happy with what I did get I got <laughs> That's nice the end speed all right that way now. There's no more haters out there can say hey his wind speeds ain't correct Guess what buddies it will be all right. I will be feeding the trolls a lot of troll candy all right, trolls, be prepared. Next item for opening. This I am sure of is my grid tie. There's no questionings about that because this is the same box 
That's another box I had a grit tie in. So I keep my boxes. I don't know where I did with it, but it is here. Yep, I told you it was. Let me turn around here so you can see it. It wouldn't be fair for you to see the back of the box, would it, guys? We might split this up in two videos. Uh, we might do just a grid tie video and we'll do the in speed video. But hey, that's okay. All right, here we go. Same thing, instructions, power cord. I mean, it's pretty simple stuff, not really much to look at, but I needed another grid tie because I've got 100, 1,190 watts of solar and right now I've got 320 of that disabled because I don't want to put a full thousand plus watts into my thousand watt grid tie because they do shut down when they get warm. So we don't want it doing that all the time, but we'll turn them up. So I try to keep it under a thousand, so 870 right now is what's going to it, so that's what we'll keep it at. And that's six 145 watt DM solar solar panels is what I got going to it. And they're wired in series parallel for 24 volts. We'll keep all the little styrofoam pieces here. Just in case, you know, if I ever upgrade my system and, you know, these are still working, I can still sell them and I got the box, I can put it back in and shit. I even keep the little wrappers. All right, another grid tie right there. Probably get that hooked up. Uh, maybe tomorrow when I get home. Yeah, there's my grid tie inverter. Not really much to see here on this. Uh, the, the biggest happy thing was is the end speed. So you'll be able to, I'll have a video of me putting that end speed up. So this is just be a little quick, easy video. Uh, just wanted to see what I've got, what I've opened up. This isn't a wind. This is just for my solar. Uh, I can dump my wind through it if I need to. But this is for solar. I will be getting two more of these for wind. Uh, that way I can charge my battery bank and then when the wind gets to a certain, my battery bank gets full. I'm not going to dump my battery bank because I want to keep my battery bank full. I'm going to dump it into a set of grid ties. So we'll show you later in a future, on a future date on how we're going to be setting stuff up like that. Because uh, I've got three phase coming in. And we get two three phase uh, grid ties. They both be a thousand watts. And I'll show you how I end up setting that up. Uh, I'm going to set my dump up a little bit different than what most folks do. Uh, I've got some solid state relays that I'm going to be working on. Uh, my phone law, he's got a whole bunch of single uh, phase relays. They're about 40, 50 amps. If you use three of them, you can use it on a three phase system. So we're going to be using three of those. We're going to build a three phase switch. Um, and, and when my system sits to a point and it's getting ready to dump, instead of dumping nowhere, I'll have it dumping into my uh, grid. So until then, guys, uh, I'll get back with you. All right, so don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. And then once you subscribe, you can watch more of my videos. Talk to you YouTubers later. And hopefully by next time, we'll have the RPM gauge.